so you can come to Burger King and get a Burger King Big Kids meal served your way with more great tasting food, fun, and of course, a cool toy. This fall, the ultimate Pokemon showdown is here. Are you ready? Only Burger King has limited edition gold-plated trading cards from Pokemon, the first movie. $1.99 each with every tasty Burger King Big Kids meal you buy. Taste rules. Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Let's Go Pikachu. I've, once again, you know, every, every I, I record these every couple days usually, so as such, I put some Pokemon in the Pokeballs, which make me, I go for a walk, I go out, I, you know, all that sort of stuff. So let's see who our latest little dude is, and if he will come back from the stroll and be ready to evolve. It is our little Alolan Sandshrew. So, what level is he going to get to? So, not much. It's been about a day. Well, okay. Swords Dance. That's actually a really good move. Um, normally, I would not give him that. Oh, he has Mirror Coat? Really? Um, normally, I would not give him that, but Swords Dance is legitimately awesome because I think it raises your attack stat by two, which is a lot, especially if you start doing some of those, uh, some more crazy stuff. So, he's not going to evolve. But we get some candy, uh, worked hard, we got some Charmander candy, good stuff all around. Uh, actually, does he use the Ice Stone to evolve, or is that just, um, I think that just might be a Lowland Vulpix. I could, of course, be incredibly wrong. Let's, well, let's see here. If we go to our, it probably doesn't work if he's not in our party, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know, actually. We're going to open up our box. We're going to go find him. He's right here. Add him to the party. Put him in, in place of Cubone, who we're still trying to level up and, and evolve into the Marowak, because then we can get the Alolan Marowak. Um, he does. So, but now the question is, do I want to evolve him right now? So, I'm going to look up um, Alolan Sandshrew... Uh, let's go. I'm going to look up its move set as it levels up to see if there's a move that I really want it to get. So first off, uh, it, so yeah, it should normally evolve at level 22 to turn into a Sand Slash, but this one is quite different. Um, it on its own does not learn anything as a Sand Slash, but moves it can learn include... Well, just Slash and Blizzard, and it learns Slash at 32, and Blizzard it can learn by TM. So, honestly, I could just level him up to get Slash, which is a good move, because it does pretty decent damage. So, we can level him up to 32, because we can do that pretty easily right here. And then once he gets that, yeah, and then he doesn't learn anything crazy moves higher up, so then we'll turn him into the, uh, Sun Slash there. Yeah, Slash. Because Slash does base... How much? 70 with crits. So with that, with, um, that with Swords Dance will be pretty good, I feel, right? Unless I'm super wrong, which is entirely possible, because I'm not, I'm not the greatest Pokemon Master of all time, and that was a mistaken input. What I actually want to do is go down, give him a Sandshrew Candy, eat, enjoy, um... Then we shall evolve him. Cool. So yeah, I completely forgot that the uh, that that stone is actually usable on multiple Pokemon. Uh, I thought it was just the Alolan um, Vulpix. I also think they should change it to make Leafeon and Glaceon be able to be got by the Leaf Stone and, and Ice Stone. But alas, well there he is, Sonic the Hedgehog himself, an Alolan Sand Slash. Really cool design. I actually super love the long claws. It's a better, it's a better look overall. Cool. This is Sand Slash form after adaptation to a frigid environment. The cold air emitted by its body sharpens its icy spikes. And yes, it is ice and steel, which is good for any steel type things that we have to deal with. And can you learn any TMs here? So you can learn... I don't really want to give you some of those. I don't really want to give you some of these. Not at all. Yeah, no, that's fine. We'll, we'll have to get more of those later. Um, but for now, what are we going to do with our party here? Well, uh, Sand Slash, you're cool. <laughs> but I think I definitely still want to get that, um, Cubone evolved here. 
Which, if I really wanted to, I could just give it some rare candies to do that. Especially if there's a guy in here who wants to trade. When the Elite Four came out and stomped out Team Rocket? Yeah, that's kind of a plot hole, isn't it? That's kind of a surprise that they don't. I'm a huge Raichu fan who came all the way from Alola. Let's trade your Cantonian Raichu for my Raichu. Well, cool, we can do that. We can definitely do that because we have that as an option. Um, hello. Self Co is widely known to all. It's a victim of its own fame. It attracted Team Rocket. Shucks. Pokemon's growth rates differ from species to species. Well, thank you for that. Um, Raichu... Um, you know what? Instead of using one of my really, really useful, um, stones, I'm actually gonna hold on to it for now. And instead, do it when I transfer my Raichus from Go. Because it's just a situation of... I don't super want to get rid of money in this game, and I have way, way too many Raichus in Go, so we're going to wait off on that. We'll come back here later. By that time, we should have Fly also. Where do I even get Fly in this game? I've completely forgotten. So, um, we now have a bit more access to the city here. Saffron City belongs to Team Rocket. I'm sure it does, bud. And this is Witch House. Hello, sir. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. Oh, you are the psychic guy. This is a good move. Thank you, sir. That's it? You're just giving it to me? You already know, don't you? TM40 is psychic. It's a move that may lower the target's special attack. Psychic is really good. And the fact that it's multiple use means it's really, really good. So, uh, of course, Cadaver can learn psychic, and we're going to teach it right now. But the question is, for Cadabra, is there any... Oh, yeah, we'll get rid of Psybeam. Actually, you know what? Honestly, I'm never ever gonna use teleport with you. So we're gonna ruin teleport. Um, is there any way to just get a Alakazam right now? I'm just trying to think. I might have to do that a bit later to try and uh, try and get Alakazam there. You know, we're gonna get Kadabra out of our party as well. I wanna get. I wanna train up some new Pokemon. Let's see here. Um, uh, let's see. So Kadabra is psychic. Okay, well, first off, we're going to sort by Pokedex number. Okay, because I want to see who I need to evolve still. So, who do I need? Well, I still do need to evolve my Pidgeotto into a Pidgeot. I do have both of those guys. I need a regular Sand Slash that comes at level 20. That's at 22, right? So, we can get him pretty quickly there. So, we'll level up those guys. Um, I could get Nido Queen right now. And Nido King, because I think I have enough. Moon I can get Moonstones for them. Arcanine, I can get now also, and uh, okay, okay. And I'm still trying to level up this Rhyhorn into a Rye Dawn, uh, which we'll, we'll get later. We got Golem there. Golem will be—he's our ace in the hole for later. For now, though, we will keep him, keep him on our party, be or not in our party, but in our box. I don't want to use him too much too early. Okay, because we... Oh, I should have kept Kadabra, though, for this upcoming mini-gym, if you will. But, uh, here's Sylphco. Can we not go in there right now? I'm a security guard. I don't let suspicious kids in. Really, now? So, where? Huh. That I don't remember. Do we have to go do the gyms? Is it going to make us do it? Ow, you jerk work. Watch where you're walking. I just walked up to you. The copycat is cute. I hear she really likes Clefairy, so I'm going to show it to her once I catch one. Thank you for writing. Hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look at my letter. Is there an ups... Wait, what? Oh, copycat's not... Where is copycat? Or is she's known in the anime? Duplica. Where is she? I thought that was her house. I guess I was wrong. Is it this house up here? What do you want? Get lost, you little squirt. Okay, sir. Ah, oh, here it is. My daughter likes to mimic people. It's rather vexing. In fact, people call her a copycat because of her mimicry. My daughter is so self-centered, but she has but a few friends. Maybe she'll mellow down a bit if you show a Pokemon she likes. Well, we heard she likes Clefairy, and guess what? We got one of those, so we're going to put one in our party right now. Uh, we're going to shake. Grab a Clefairy. We'll add it just in place of Gloom for now. We'll, we'll get that back after. All right. Oh, she's not looking like me, huh? In the previous one, she just looked like the sprite. Hi, you must like Pokemon. That's weird. 
No, not me. I asked you. See, I think this is implied that the protagonist is totally speaking to them. Pardon? You're weird. Mm, quit mimicking. That's my favorite hobby. Hey, do you want me to mimic you again? You have a Clefairy. Show it? Yes. Oh, wow. Real life Clefairy. I've never seen one before. Thank you so much. You know what? I'll give you a team that lets your Pokemon create a copy of itself. Oh, Substitute. That's pretty good. That's a good move. You can obtain Substitute lets your Pokemon create a decoy of itself by spending HP. Is that it? Thanks for what you did. Pardon? What? Isn't it a really funny copy? You bet. It's a scream. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a game in which a lot of cube-shaped Pokemon appear. They're really advertising that, huh? Oh, hello. Whoa! Really now? That's a good thing I checked there. My secrets. Skill, mimicry, favorite Pokemon, Clefairy. But sir, I've never seen one person. I want an adorable Clefairy someday. Well, guess what? It's no longer going to be a Clefairy. Uh, I shouldn't have. Well, no, whatever. It's fine. No, I shouldn't. I was going to say, it's no longer going to be a Clefairy because I'm going to evolve it. But then uh, I just realized I probably shouldn't. Pretty mirror, look at me. See how pretty I can be. See so, yeah, how the Doduo talks too. Inexplicably. There's some weird stuff here. Like, I think a lot of it is intentionally confusing, but, uh, okay. So, actually, uh, I am actually gonna get back into our team. The, um, Alakazam. Or Kadabra, sorry, because he's gonna be very useful for this upcoming gym. He's only level 25, so you know what? We might just balance him out a bit, put him up to 30. I know it's not a good idea to actually use uh, rare candies because it does limit stat growth. But with the bottle caps, that's not a problem. Substitute. Oh, really? Um, substitute for... Kinesis is pretty good. It lowers their accuracy. Nah, I don't like... I can give it substitute anytime with the TM, so that's not a problem. I don't, I don't really want it right now. 27. 28. 29. You know what? I might just go on Twitter right now and ask if someone would be willing to trade a Pokemon for Kadabra as well as I might as well try and get right now my um, Alolan Golem evolved here. You know what? And also, you know what? Let's get some of these evolutions out of the way right now because I, I have the, the stuff. So let's try and get the Geodude here. We're going to put him in. For uh, Sancho, we're going to level him up. Uh, we got a Machop, which I can level up to evolve. And we're going to try and get them, ask for someone to help me trade right now. So uh, we will see you all. I'm going to fast forward till that gets done, where they're all evolved and stuff. So we'll see you in just a second. A one-woman man's what I want to be. Stay by her side so faithfully. I would if I could. But it's just no good Cause there's two perfect girls for me Loving you's a crime, then sentence me now and I'll do my job When my uniform beauty's simply the best She's got my heart under her hands to rest But before that cop makes me her boy I'm head over heels He's head over heels I'm head over heels For a nurse named Joy Woo! Jenny, 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 Your face, my knees get weak when I'm burning up. I got the fever. She's my perfect nurse, and I'll never leave her. Her bedside manner has healed so many. So why am I in love? Why is he so in love? So why am I in love with Officer Jenny? Woo, Jenny, oh Jenny, 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 Jenny,
Right. Wow, that took a half hour. I want to give a big, big shout outs to Somars, who joined in uh, from Twitter, who was like, hey, I'll help trade your Pokemon. And don't worry, there's no way I'll steal them, which is very nice because I was legitimately worried about that for a bit. So yes, we got ourselves Alakazam and and a Machamp and in Soviet Russia, a, a Lolan Golem electrocute you actually that kind of works out um they're strong i actually what i ended up doing was i ended up um evolve or halting their evolution as their pre-evolved forms for quite a bit that way what they can do is they can um get their moves that are really good early like thunder punch and double edge so by doing that i was able to get them to be stronger earlier which is a lot of fun so we're gonna add alakazam back into our party uh, and he's gonna help us rock a certain... Get it rock, because we got... Okay. Um, they're gonna help us uh, get through a certain gym coming up, so we're gonna move this here. Yes, Alakazam, uh, who is not banned from being in the card games, but his pre-evolved form is. So, is there any moves that he can learn that'll be useful here uh, for this? Dig? No. The screen moves he can, but I don't think I'm going to use that. Um, psychic he knows. Okay, that's fine. We'll get more moves later. So, but let us head in and let's actually get one of them behind us here. Let's get, let's get Alakazam. Is he going to be flying behind us? Because if so, that's going to be a little bit terrifying. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so Alakazam, we're going to go take out a Pokeball. He'll travel alongside you. How big is this boy? How big is Alakazam? He's a little big. He actually, I think, gets smaller, technically, when he evolves. Uh, him and uh, his Mega Evolution. So, we're going to actually head up here. Because over here lies... Haha, here it is. They, did they make him closer? I thought they were a bit further apart. The Fighting Dojo. So, this is like a not real gym. It's a unofficial gym. That when beaten, gives you stuff. Hi, I'm a coach trainer. I'm on loan to the fighting dojo. I'm pretty strong trainer. You want battle? Sure. Let's have a serious battle. Hiya. More like let's have a serious battle. Good night. With my Alakazam here, Leona. Like from King of Fighters. So it's all going to be fighting types. I mean, obviously. Now, I do hope that it is um, two on twos looking at how the people are laid out here, which would be different. Uh, we'll see here. So Psychic. So we should be fast and strong, which should kill him, hopefully everyone in one hit, uh, which will be very useful. Good job, Alakazam. With two spoons. He's a weird... Oh, Electabuzz. Are you serious? Okay, that's different. Um, well, we have Dig on you, so sure. Um... Alakazam's design is really interesting because it's very... It's not really inspired by anything. Like, it's just kind of like a monstery design. Like, Electabuzz at least represents, you know, like, electricity with his horns and stuff. And, like, that all makes sense. But some of, like, some of the stuff that they do for Pokemon, like, in the early ones here, I look at them, like, I don't know what you're supposed to be. And also, ouch, that hurt a lot. I want to use Dragon Rage to help with, you know, make sure that when I use dig it won't do that but okay this might kill me Ooh, he toughed it out so i wouldn't feel sad looks like it might cry well guess what no need to cry we're going underground we're like an indie artist this should hopefully kill him thunder punch missed and we're gonna dig up oh dang well that sucks um i'm gonna save a revive and instead send out our pikachu cool cool because no matter what, that won't kill Pikachu, right? 
I mean, ignoring the fact that Pikachu is very low defense, it is a bit of a glass cannon. Good. Critical hit. Um, so we will use... Um, how do I see the, the Pokemon info here? Oh, I guess because it's our first time fighting and we can't see, so we're going to use Floaty Fall instead. See if this will work. So I don't know how much damage that will do. Will it do neutral damage? It technically did not very effective damage, but that's okay. I, <coughs> I didn't want to risk healing it, even though that's not a move, that's not a thing in this, in this, uh, this gen, if you will. Leona, I'm totally defeated. What are you going to give me, though? That's the question. Have this. Ooh, Thunder Punch. Cool. You mean I worked that hard to try and get... Okay. Um, I worked really hard to get Thunder Punch on my Alolan uh, Golem there, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, let's use a Super Potion on you. Though we probably won't need to use it that much, so, uh... Okay, is this going to be double battles? I hope so, because then our partner would be... We're going to go move, because you can help out for sure. Double battles. Please, the other person, also walk over. Ah, dang. They're not double battles. There's not enough double battles in this. Hitoshi. That's a very Japanese name for a game that tries to pretend it's not in Japan. I was blown away as a kid to learn that Kanto is a real place. And I think I heard it first because I heard about... Um, from another manga, The Deserts of Kanto, and I'm like, what? They stole that from Pokemon. And then I learned, no, it's, it's totally a real place. And then I was just shocked. Because how could they use a real place? And then I learned even the later gens, even if they're not really real places, they're still all based on real places, which is cool. Also, these guys are going to give us tons of Pokeballs. Is the other guy going to come after us now? Yep. Oh, that sucks. Come on, in, in so many previous games, they made it so that if two trainers see you at the same time, it becomes a double battle instead. That was way cooler. That's a, just a shame. Aaron, that's not a very Japanese name. Also, you don't look like you use uh, the power of aura and stuff. Also, that's not a fighting type in this fighting type gym, silly. So Psychic should still deal decent damage to it, right? And if not, we do have Nightshade too, which does damage equal to your HP. Or is it the opponent's HP? It's one of them, but it's still really good. And it doesn't matter though, Alakazam, OP, please nerf. Alakazam was OP in the original Pokemon uh, Red and Blue there, and the reason why is because the special attack stat not only affected your special attack, but your special defense as well. It was a double-edged sword. Okay, so I gotta check right now. Who is it that I have in Go? Is it, is it Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee? I think it, hi Hideki Kamiya. I think it's Hitmon Lee that I have. So I'm gonna have to check so that I can get both when I transfer the other one in. Because uh, I think there is a way to get wild ones in this one. But I also don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember which one I have to make it easier, so I don't have to worry about getting them. Um I do have a Hitmon top, which is the coolest of the three by far. In, uh, in Go, but of course I can't transform here. Hitmon Top is very indicative of the era of gold and silver designs. I really did like it, and also I can't log into Le Pokemon Go right now. Let's turn off my Wi-Fi. I have more than enough data for that. Um, yeah, I really love Hitmon Top's design. And especially thinking about him relating to, um, Pokemon Coliseum. Like, he's, ah, he's just a cool design. All right, now we're going to go and use, take a guess, answer, yes, it's Psychic. We're going to run out of PP, though. Is Pokemon Go down? No, it's not. It's loading, finally. Okay, so right now I have... Let's stop going from CP and let's go by number. Oh, man, I'm playing two Pokemon games at once. I'm like those streamer guys who play multiple games at once, except I'm not that skilled. Um, I have Hitmonlee, so we're going to try and get Hitmon. Chan here. Who in my eyes is the cooler one? Because punching is cool, but I know some people will disagree. Okay, we could probably beat up this guy with, with Alakazam, no problem. <clears throat> I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fua! Same, bruh. Well, he's probably gonna have all three. Or, not all three, but both of them, right? Karate Master Koichi! Koichi really steals? No honor. No, he doesn't have one. 
<laughs> nice Pokemon. Is its nickname Echoes? <laughs> Joe jokes. It's funny because I remember saying once where it's like, man, I, I, if you don't understand JoJo, you don't understand half the stuff I say. And then someone was like, I will never watch JoJo. How dare you insinuate that I have to watch such a base and banal show. And I'm like, bro, it's just an anime. What's the big deal? I, mean, I decided to use Psybeam there just to save my pee pee. All right, we're going strong. It's 31. So let's see here. Good good stats. 112 special attacks. Quite good for around level. Wow, that's it! Ah, oh, beaten! Wow, I thought you had more than one, but I guess I wasn't watching. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. I, in return, I will give you a prized fighting-type Pokemon. That'll be very effective against the gym. Oh, really? Kick, kick! Knuckle. Knuckle? What? How do you say Knuckle? That's not part of your name at all. Choose whichever one you like. That's kind of cool they put them out in front of you to actually see. Knuckle! You want the piston-punching Hitmonchan? Yeah, sure. You got Hitmonchan from the Karate Master. Cool. There he is. Cool beans. Uh, punches in corkscrew fashion. It's, it can punch it through a concrete wall like a drill. Talk to him away. Goodbye, sir. And I'm gonna try and take the other one. It's gonna be like, you don't choose one. Oh, dang. Stay in train. Nah, it's fine, dog. So that was that uh, little area there. It certainly is a little area. Um, so yeah, it's not. Hi! Team Rocket, we've been cracking down on them, but they keep on coming. Well, that is that is their motto. Um, what's this place? Trainer Fan Club. Oh, cool. I don't remember this place. I don't... You're a new NPC. I really admire Bruno of the Elite Four. He's a fighting type expert and super buff, too. Oh, I love that. Uh, Lorelai of the Elite Four is so cool. She can freeze me solid with her icy gaze. Whoa, okay, dude. No one knows who the gym leader of Radiant City is. It's like a mystery. I'm so curious. You'd think that thing would have to be officially documented, but... I'm a huge fan of Lieutenant Surge, the Vermillion City gym leader. What? You have his autograph? Wow, I'm super jealous. Oh. Well, that doesn't do anything. I expected that thing to actually do something. Um, let's go in here. Anything else? Usually never something in these NPCs. A revive might be expensive. We can revive Fainted Pokemon. It's pretty amazing. Ah, uh, yes. Max Repel keeps wild Pokemon from appearing. Her lasts longer than a Super Repel. Yes, it does. Yeah, there's usually not too many, um... Things to go on in the stores. Uh, in Pokemon centers, yeah, but usually not the stores, which... It's a bit disappointing. Okay, so we still can't go in there. That's surprising. I'm gonna go heal up, and then I think we'll get started on Sabrina's Gym. Now, for Sabrina's Gym, it is a psychic-type place, but I think many of the Pokémon will also be, because of type changes, uh, also will be, um, part fairy. So we need to have... Maybe a fairy? T Not really, because we'll see here. Okay, so I am in a... Well, the good thing is we do have Skybite, who does have Crunch, which is good. That'll be dark type there. Um, Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll put Skybite at the front so that we can hopefully uh, do that. Cubone and Sanchu are just there to level up. Agumon, there's a bit of backup, just a bit. Uh, and Pikachu is, of course, our heavy hitter, which is ironic because it is just a Pikachu. So, let's go to the gym. Is it going to be like, once you beat the gym, she'll be like, Okay, now to beat out the rocket or something? Is that what it's going to be? Which is weird, because in the Pokemon... Oh, really? What? Don't think stand up to us or I'll hurt you. Oh, well, can't go there. Where do we go now? Oh, do we have to go to the game corner now? Is the game corner first? I thought the game corner came after. Huh. Well, I guess we're going to the game corner then. I swear that I... Because I was like, I feel like it's too early to Silphco. And yes, it is. So we'll go to the game corner instead. Worry about that whole debacle. Uh, always looking for shinies. They do have a, a low rate of being spawned, but that rate is still 4,000 some, so it's possible. 
Okay, so we're gonna go here. And can we kick you out now? What? There's no secret behind the poster, and where's my partner anyway? He's supposed to come trade place, but he's been... Are we... Well, this is sure awkward. Um, are we supposed to try and ascend Lavender to the, the, the Lavender Town Tower? Boy, this is different than what I remember. Well, this sucks a bit. Because here I am, acting like this big old Pokemon mastermind, and here they are changing the game up, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. Hi, bud, what you find there? Just spoon it out? Found something in the plants. It's a silver Nanab berry. Wow. That's better than the original red one by far. And yet some people will claim that's when it started to become bad. Um, do you go off into the department store? They sell all kinds of things. I mean, I occasionally. Okay, so apparently, yes, if you mash down here, you can find items. Like that. Like a nugget. So they did get, they did try and get rid of the problem of uh, limited amounts of um, money. Because you can get to a point in Pokemon where you, where you run out of money in the original. Um, you can only get so many things so many times. So, but this one they made it, nah, there's ways to do it. Now, mind you, in, they fixed that in later games with uh, trainer rematches, which I'm surprised aren't in this game. I'm surprised they didn't bring back the Versus Seeker, because that is a very good item that is very useful. Sleep Pokemon causing trouble? Yeah, we have no way to get through that. I guess we gotta go up the tower now, huh? Which again? Oh no, well, that's gone. Probably just another berry. We'll cut through here. What is that over there? Is that Nabra? It is. We'll get you. Bye. Guess not. So I guess Abra just... They don't really... They act differently than other Pokemon, it seems. You gotta, you gotta get him as soon as he appears, pretty much. Okay, so we're gonna head back. And I guess we're gonna climb up the tower. And the good news is because uh, ghost types inhabit the tower... Oh, we're gonna have to trade again for a for a Gengar, uh, because ghost types inhabit the tower. We don't have to worry too. Well, I guess I could also trade. No, I can't. Um, ghost types with Skybite work out. Okay, so I guess we're going up here. Cubone looked like it was searching. Maybe it's on one of the higher floors. Because normally you try and get up there, and then you get faced with the ghost. Um, the ghosts who are... Oh, yeah, we're supposed to go up here, huh? Cubone, Cubone, come out, come out, wherever you are. Just trying to streamline it. It didn't work out. I don't see any sign of it. Huh? Is that... Whoa. It's, uh... It's, uh, it's uh, go, 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 go. Ghost, yar! Oh, they don't have the cool design of the original ghosts in, uh... Get out, be gone. They don't have the cool, um... Look of... The ghosts in Gen 1. Those ones are legitimately scary. Me, me. Ma. They make weird noises that are not Pokemon noises. They're... Cubon sadly trudged down the stairs. They're oddly inconsistent with the Pokemon saying their names or not. Well, that's a little spooky seeing them in the background there. Lena Inverse looks frightened by the spooky atmosphere. Because then I think if we go and try and battle them, there's like nothing you can do. Be gone, malevolent spirit. Oh, cool. Actually, the fact that they spawn now just everywhere is kind of scary. kind of love it. Chandler Patri- Whoa, she is having a time of her life. Said I'm ghastly. The Chandlers are- so Also, yeah, they totally spoil what the ghosts are by just doing this. Um, the Chandler class is such a crazily, like- like, cultural, religious thing, and yet they use them no problem. It's weird. I mean, normally they try and make Pokemon as, you know, culturally worldwide as possible by making it, yeah, we're not gonna put two overtly Japanese things in, aside from maybe one or two towns that are meant to try and reference it, but here it's like, nah, we just, we just pretty much believe in Shintoism at this point. I think we're not going to send the tower this part, but we will do that next part. Because, uh, this is going to be a bit longer than I expected with how these battles are going to go. Oh, and she's back to normal. Okay, okay, I see. So they're, they're possessed when they're doing that. Well, let's see what happens if we try and run into one of these guys. Get out, be gone. Oh? 
Oh, do they just return you to the entry? Oh, you were sent. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so we'll see you next time for some more. Let's go, Pikachu, where we start to go up the spooky tower. So we'll see you then for some more, guys. Ciao.